One of the questions in some fights about Rockman has oh. been his stamina. Right hand puts Rockman on the floor right next to me. Right next to me. Right next to me. And he doesn't look floor. like he's going to get up. No, he isn't. He's, he's not going to get up any time, any legs. Yeah, and there's through. the shot. Yeah, that was over. That fight was done with right there. I hate to say it, but that fight was done with He right had there. already survived about a minute of the round with no legs, Roy. Yeah, that's right. And that's why you know that punch right there was it. And that's what I mean when I was telling Larry about taking chances. That really was a chance that he should not have taken. Well, those 38 years may come into play in a hurry at 227 pounds. Oh! If he gets up, I'll be the most surprised person in the Coliseum. This fight should be over. Mel Munoz should stop this fight. He has got to his feet, but he stopped the fight. Another first-round knockout for Tommy the Duke Morrison. He is the final knockdown. Overhand right. There it is. He heads through the ropes, smashes the computer, and luckily does not get injured. Moore is able to box for 36 minutes, or for 30 minutes, I should say. Scheduled for 10, not for 12. Get off of it. David Tua gets in two body punches early. The rib cage of Moore, and down goes Moore. Moore in. He's not moving at all. It's over with. Well, Michael Moore said, no matter what happens, even if I lose the fight, that's not the end of me as a contender because lots of things can happen in the heavyweight division. But because of the nature of the loss, he may be whistling in the dark. It may be very difficult for him to come back, and especially in view of the fact that he has not done anything impressively for the most part in the last eight years. He said what McCallum has been working on, obviously, is going to the body, and he wants to do that more tonight. Good, quick left hand shown by Wilder. There's a right hand, drives Lukovic into the ropes. Down he goes. And it's over. Just like that. Full force, great balance. Look at him. Even that jab forced him into the ropes. Good thing the other right hand missed him. He was already down there. That second right hand he threw. Well, Lehovich is right above us, and he does look at least clear-eyed. Yeah, he's sitting up. They'll get a nice bag on his back. He wants to stand Look up. at that reaction, though, with Barry. That was, that was very, very scary. Yes, it was. Lyle's got to come back with Lyle down. Lyle down to the canvas. Foreman punching him again and again and again when it looked like George was... Now watch, here it comes, George. Yeah. So I decided, no giving up. I got him going. Bill Cosby had told me earlier, keep going. You don't want to hear none of this stuff. That was it. That right was the final block. The heart of a There's no substitute for action in the ring. So I thought all three were very, very close. <laughs> Right now, Ruddick is fighting a long fight, not using his legs at all. Let's take a look at this, Sam. There's the first left hook. That wobbles him back pretty good. He's hurt now, standing up, and, and he missed the right hand, but he threw it with everything he could. There's that left hook oh. again. And look at this, one Sam. More. Oh, man. He was out after the second left hook, and the third one put him down and out for the night. Sam, we mentioned that he throws that right hand, even if he misses it. Here's the left hook. Now watch him throw the right hand, Sam. See, he misses it, shifts all his weight out to his left foot, and there goes those devastating left hooks. What a performance. Coming out for the fifth. Now then, Will Morrison follow orders and go for the body? No, he's still shooting for the head. And Mercer looks so confident now compared with earlier on when he looked as though he was heading for defeat. And there's that right hand again smashing through, and it's all coming through against Morrison now. And this looks like the end to me. It could be stopped right here, and it is, maybe not stopped quite early enough because Morrison was taking too many punches quite got it at this level and Mercer put him through the mill here in the closing moments of this fight in the fifth round but I wish the referee had come in a little earlier he's looking quite unconcerned the referee at this point and the man is suffering 
and there are at least half a dozen blows he shouldn't have taken. Etienne wants to be assured he established with Mike Tyson that he's not afraid of him. Mike showing nice head movement and rolling a little bit. He bangs Mike inside with the right hand. Wow, what a right hand is at the end. At the end, tries to catch him. Tyson ties him up now at the end, hanging on. And the referee, Bill Clancy, able to separate the two. Good instructions given by the ref in the early going. Mike gets it with the right hand, and Etienne is down. He was really nailed with a foot right hand. It's up to five and six. He's not going to make it. It's seven, eight, nine, and ten. He knocks him out in the first round with a foot right hand. Here's the knockout. I'm trying the right. to keep my hands up. I'm moving. I'm trying to get to the side and look for the opening. And I see it. Here it is. Boom, straight, boom. Just like the one Freddie Roach was working now right you've for. hit a lot of people, Mike, and I know it may be a little quick to estimate this. Have you hit anybody harder than that? Well, Sir? I don't know because I, I didn't feel a punch, so I have to go around and ask everybody I hit, how did that punch <laughs> feel? Well, you know because you delivered it. That was, it, it that was, was very clean. Oh, I'm just glad he didn't hurt yeah. his leg. But I'm just, I was just very happy with the, with the sharp punch and accurate punch, and praise be to Allah, no one had gotten hurt. Listed as having a reach advantage here. We'll see how he uses it. Tua with a big left hook, and Ruiz in trouble. Tua comes right at him. Another big bomb, and Ruiz is down. This could almost be over now. Tua came storming out. It's over. Quite a bit right there. That had Tyson written all over it, the way it was thrown and everything by Tua. Now he knows he's done the damage here. He comes right in, and before John Ruiz can recover, Two is all over him. One more right hand, another one in there. And that one was the one that really did the damage. Tremendous hook there. Practically wins the fight for Tua already. Tony Perez on the outside, waiting, waiting for these guys to fight their way out. There's a right hand. Tony Perez should be there right now. And maybe one punch too much there. Happening very fast. Left hook by Tua. As we get the time listed. That's the one there that maybe didn't have to get in. You know, even his own corner said to him, uh, to Rockman, if he punches, just keep your hands high. They're telling him not to counter punch. Boom! Boom! Well, Rockman get up. The table's been turned. Is it reversed? Seven, eight, nine. It's over. Lennox Lewis got revenge. This is what some of his supporters thought he could have done to Holyfield if he had decided to be more aggressive. Rachman totally out of position after the left, and the right hand was good night. He did it by long range. That's most important. He didn't try to close in. Everything was out in the open. That's the way you want to fight a puncher. And he set it all up with the left hand by firing aggressively, keeping his left hand in Rockman's face, mixing in the left hook every once in a while with the jab. He changed it up here. Instead of jab and right hand, it was hook and right hand. And you know what? The old saying, never follow a puncher around. And Rockman did. R Rockman made the fatal mistake. I'm going to follow you no matter what you jab me or what I'm going to follow you. Well, Rockman has spent months saying he had no respect for Lennox Lewis. He went into the ring and showed he had no respect for Lennox Lewis, and, and he what, paid the price.